Hey everybody, it's Michelle. Um, today I thought I would show you a few different ways to make these really um, neat favors. These are for Halloween. I know it's not even close to Halloween yet, but I thought I would try them anyway. Um, because really you could use them for parties or different holidays. I did something like this for Valentine's Day and I thought it was really neat. Um, I noticed a few different tutorials online, but I tried to do this really simple, especially for people who may not have all the supplies or things like that. Um, so I kind of did this two different ways. One way, as you can see, I did a little punch, and this way is just a really simple pocket. So what I did was I used um, a 12 by 12 scrap of paper, double-sided. That really makes a difference because when you fold it over, you want it to have an image on uh, both sides. So I used a 12 by 12 and I cut it down two inches wide. So this is two by 12. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna score it. This is my Martha Stewart scoreboard. And hopefully you can see. I score it at seven and a half and eight. So this one is going to be really simple. All I did was put some score tape right over here. Now this is for someone who, uh, you know, may not have punches and things like that. This is just a very, very simple way because when you're making these for a classroom or things like that, um, you don't really have a lot of time to get into detail. I mean, some people do, but not everyone does. And this is a great alternative to candy. And you can still put a lollipop in there if you want. And actually, okay, so I just put my score uh, tape on there. What I'm gonna do, and you don't have to do this, but I used my corner chomper by We Are Memories to make this a little bit more clean looking. So I'm just gonna And this score tape is really, uh, really, really solid. So this is not gonna come apart. Uh, if you use glue and stuff like that, maybe uh, it could come apart. I don't know, it just depends what kind of glue you use. So let me show you how this looks. sometimes. I noticed a lot of people in their tutorials have everything ready and here I am sometimes I'm reaching. So this is a very simple one. You just literally just put it in the pocket. That's one way to do it. And you could add stickers, embellishments, whatever you have. So that's how I did this one. That is probably the easiest way you can do this. And um, this package, I just put this in a cellophane bag. Cellophane, I'm sorry, bag. And by the way, I'm using a 2.5 by 8 cellophane bag. So obviously, if your bag is a different size, you want to measure this differently. Um, these sizes are kind of hard to find, so uh, if you do have a hard time finding it, I have this size specifically listed on my shop. Um, but these measurements are for this 2.5 by 8 bag. I forgot to mention that. Okay, so that's just one way to do it. The second way is I have, what I did was I cut another 12 by 12 and I made it 2 by 12. I did my score at 8 and 7.5 and, and I added a little hole here. 
Now, uh, sorry, I'm really not prepared right now. But for mine, I used this Little B die cut because I didn't have the size. Uh, most people would probably use a whole bunch like this, probably about one and a half inches, and I just didn't have the right uh, size for these two pencils to fit, so I used this die cut. And by the way, when I was done, I realized this cutout piece from it would be a really nice tag to stick on these or tie it with, so you could put a little uh, name tag there. So anyway, all I'm gonna do is Take this again or glue it, whatever you have works. And I just do these two areas here because it doesn't need to go all the way down. With this tape specifically, it's really strong and I know that this is all I need. I'm just going to just make sure your fold is kind of there. So it looks like that. And I'm just going to grab my two pencils and stick them in here. Now you could put it in the bag just like this, but it's kind of wobbly. So I used washi, and this is very uh, the perfect washi to me for me to use to, because it's black and white and it kind of looks Halloween-ish. So I just add the washi here and hold it in place. And by the way, I did corner chomp this and round it off. And I pre-cut this before I film this so you can just see that. So there's that. That's a little bit fancier way. And I'm just going to stick it in this bag which again is two and a half by eight. This cutout is two by eight, or two by 12, sorry. But with the fold, it's the height is eight. And it looks a little plain like that, so um, you could add stickers on here. You could add it on the bag or in here. I'm just going to put this here. And then I got this ribbon from Michaels. I got it last year. So I don't know if they'll have it this year, but they always have really good ribbon for the holidays. ways. One's a little bit fancier, the other one's a little bit more easier. Um, but they both work and you could do this for so many different things. So I just wanted to show you two easy ways to do it. One with a tool and uh, one without it. But I really like this idea and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.